All right, so what's up, guys? And welcome back to some more Need for Speed Heat here on the channel. As you can see on screen, once you finish the story, you get rewarded with the legendary 2005, I think it was, a Need for Speed, a most wanted M3. It is just absolutely beautiful. It is, it's so iconic. I mean, if you played most wanted, you know, once you beat this game, the last race, the, the guy that you have to chase down, he has this car, spoiler alert, and you have to pretty much take him down. And once you do that, after you finish the story, you get rewarded with this free BMW, which is a classic uh, back from one of the older Need for Speed games. I tried it out yesterday for a quick little spin, and I just want to say it is the most beautiful sounding car I've played with in the game yet and now there is a lot of a lot of cars in this game i haven't played with all of them i've only played with probably like 10 of them or so but so far this one this one takes the cake it just sounds beautiful so i caught myself yesterday racing with it and i was like all right let me put it away i gave it a slight upgrade on the engine and that's it then i realized you know what maybe i should do this for a video so that's what we're gonna be doing here i'm gonna finish upgrading it with the money that i have i did a couple of races last night i have two hundred and ten thousand dollars now from like 30 that I had after I finished the story. I think once you get it, it's a, it's a level 176 or 173 or something like that. My Corvette right now is like a three something or a high 200. So the idea here is to upgrade this vehicle as much as I possibly can with the money that I have to hopefully maybe get it better. So you see right here, I, I upgraded these two parts in the engine. So now I have a couple more and let's see what we can do with the money that we have. So this is going to give me 22 upgrade. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. So once you uh, once you hit a level 31 rep, you can actually get the elites. For instance, you have the super plus, which is 21,000. And for the elites, it's only literally like $2,500 more. And you get a much better um, upgrade to your car. So if you are close to rep, uh, rep level 31, I suggest grinding it out. Do some night races. Grind up to uh, rep level 31. And I think you should be... Hey, okay, so right here we have, let's see, 327. Look at this. The turbocharger gives me 54. Wow. Okay, we'll do this one then. All right, I'll do track suspension. So this is pretty much what we've added to our car. All right, guys. Wow. One quick little spin around. It's beautiful, man. Beautiful. This is one of my all-time favorite uh, 3 Series from the BMW, like this model. Now, I don't know how far we are from this race. I don't think we're that far. Okay, so we're pretty close. It's this way. Just hear this car, man. Oh, goodness. Now, of course, the first uh, the first uh, drive, we're going to leave it as raw as possible. Hey. You okay? Yeah. I just, I just freaked myself out. I need someone to calm me down. What happened? I was driving past the raceway, and I could have sworn I saw Mercer working on a car. What? That's what my brain said. Hear that. So I slammed the brakes, hit reverse, got Hear out, that. and took another look at this guy from across the street. Okay. It wasn't him. Just some old guy with gray hair. They didn't even look that much like him. Oh. I was shaking. Oh. Sorry, I lost now? control there. Just parked up near the beach. But what if it had been him? He's gone. Missing, presumed dead. What is that? We left him to Taurus. Did she seriously lose him? Or did she just let him go? You think she'd tell you? Can't stand not knowing. Some things you gotta let go of. We did the right thing. He's out of the picture one way or another. And even if he's still around, the one place he wouldn't show is Palm City. We're safe. Relatively. Well, yeah. Who wants to be safe all the time? You're right. You're right, you're right. I'll let it go. Thanks for listening to a crazy woman. No problem. Take it easy. That's what good friends are for, I guess. Man, once it hits those like top gears. All right, guys, here we go. The BMW M3, most wanted edition. Let me see if the drift works good on this car. Ah, uh, eh, a little. Maybe the tires. A little sweat. See, probably I should have chose like a different track for this car. 
but I saw this race gives, gives me a decent amount of money, so I wanted to do it. The drifting is still fairly easy, though. It doesn't matter what car you have, really. Dude, it sounds so good. I'm really not a fan of, like, these races where there's a lot of turns. Because I like to get those high-speed moments. Especially when we just hooked up this car to the T. As much as we possibly can for the current rep level we're at. But you can still hear it, man. It sounds freaking beautiful. So after this, we're probably going to do a... Uh, a very uh, straightforward race. I think there's one by the uh, racetrack that is literally just going in circle, it's a circuit race. And I think that one we can probably hit max speeds. I think I'm gonna do that one next and I think it's gonna be nice. Right now it's raining and it, it's, this is a mess right now. I'm gonna try and drive professionally. Maybe it's more appealing to you guys if I drive professionally as opposed to going off off-road all the time. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Let me change the camera. You can hear the, uh, hold on. Oh. You can hear that, right? Dude, that sounds so sexy. But yeah, the story in this game was actually relatively short. I thought it was going to be a little longer. I promise you, you can probably beat the game within like an entire day. Not even, like four hours. Like, it's just like right before you go to the last mission. That was a nice drift. Right before you go to the last mission, you just got to do a couple of uh, a couple of night races to get to rep level. I think it's 30 that you need or 29, something like that. But, like I mentioned on the previous video, for those of you that are still playing the story, it's a little risky, but if you multiply the races at night or even during the day without going to the garage and saving, but it works really well at night. That's where I tried it out the most. If you go and you do your night, uh, your night races without going to the garage to level up, you can actually increase your heat level. And then once you do like two or three races successfully and you've won them, then you can go to the garage and then you'll multiply the rep level you gain and you'll be gaining hundreds of thousands within like three, four races or even less. That's what I did towards the end and it, it helped me level up like four rep levels in like an hour. So I would definitely, if you're still playing, I would definitely do the night races. Don't go to the garage right after you beat them. You are going to be getting a higher heat level, so you are going to be more prone to, to cops and stuff. But if you manage to uh, beat the races and escape the cops, the rewards are going to be much, much better. I think it was over here. Yeah. Here we go. This race. This race is going to be perfect for this car. What do you guys think of it? I haven't really asked you. What, what are your opinions on this car? I think it's great. I mean, it's a classic. It's a, it's a thing about, like certain certain things in life that it doesn't matter if it's an ugly thing or not if it's a classic it's a damn classic and this car this is a beautiful car all right all right let's do this i'm gonna i'm gonna overlap these nerds watch look, look at this acceleration man oh my god let's go yeah, we're definitely going to get some top speed here. I'm pretty sure we are. Oh, yes. We can really hear it. Oh, yes. This is the one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the turning is a little funky on this one. But that's okay. Woo. God, that sounds so good. You can hear it a lot better in this race. Going all out. Overlapping them. Here we go. Oh. Oh, no. I want to see if I can overlap the first place. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. It's only four laps. 
Um, but I'll try. Let's see. Or second place, because I'm first place. Third. Here we go. Second. Overlap them. Can we overlap the last place again? That would be nice. See, I did this race with my Corvette. Um, and just based on the level and speed of that car, which is really fast. Um, I think it got me to overlapping the person in second place right before finishing the, the race. I never got to overlap them over again. But we're on the final lap now, but we're, we're already overlapping them twice. Just something I wasn't able to do with my previous car. And the night just towards the end. Aw, oh, dude. <laughs> so sick. That is so freaking sick. 23,000. This was giving me like 30 something last night. After you do them a couple times, they lower the uh, the money. Therefore, you can actually go and do all the races. And I just spam the same race. So. All right. So let's see. Um, what is this? A drive story? We'll do a drive story real quick. We can do a drive story. And then we'll finish off the video there. started testing hey thanks for coming come on buddy let's go Dex swing right I'm planning some new tracks for next year's showdown and I need some trustworthy racers to test them out trustworthy ladder can I wait to smoke you Dex you're gonna be blown away by this new car I got. So how's the Rivera family? Uh, complicated. Why don't you drop by and say hi? You and Lucas can catch up. Uh, I don't know. Me and him, we kind of grew apart at the end there. I stuck with the showdown. He got sucked into that nighttime shit. So why are you always asking about him? He was my buddy, you know? And the best racer I ever met, outside his pops. Seems like a waste, him sitting and rusting in that garage. He's a good mechanic. Well, you help me test these tracks, and I'll give him a high-end suspension kit to fit in this whip of yours. Deal. I don't think it's going to be better than what I got, but hey, sure. Let's do it. Acceleration, down. holy cow. Push this track to the limit. Ooh, sorry boys. Look at that beauty. Oh man, that beauty. I'm gonna try and play it uh professional here. Drive very professional. Just don't need to do crazy drifts because it's not like they're gonna catch up to me anyways. Oh god. What's your favorite need for speed? I don't know if I've asked you on like the first video. Maybe I did, but I don't remember right now. I'd have to go through the comments, but what's your all time favorite need for speed? I think I mentioned mine was uh, need for speed one uh, underground and then underground underground two. I also like the classics, like the ones from like way, way back. I, mean, I, th I remember, I don't know which one this is exactly the heat, but I remember most wanted. I think it was like the ninth installment. So this is probably, I don't know, man, like 12th, 13th installment. It's been so I'm many of them. Make life easy for you. More? It could be even more than that. It's been so many Need for Speeds ever since. Oh yeah. Hear that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. You got that <laughs> sounds air. good. The most of it. Woo. Okay, we're gonna go here straight. It just sounds so good when it's and when it's reaching those higher uh, those higher gears. Ah, oh, a little whistle. Pull away from the pack! I don't want to see you again. Yeah, I can't drift. I can't drift as good with this car as with the Corvette. I'm gonna try here. 
Eh, yeah, it's not that smooth and drifting. It's the tires, I believe. But I don't give a crap. That's nothing that we can't change. You haven't beat me yet. That's Matt said I haven't beat him. He's like, <laughs> let's look at the map. Bro, get out of here, man. <laughs> I can't even see them, uh, see them on the map. Come on now. Uh, this is going to be a straight one. Am I about to overlap them? Whew. See, I tried drifting normally without having to brake and it didn't work. It does, but it just, it's not Cut as... Between you and the line now. Not as drifty. You see that? The Corvette would have taken that easily. Doesn't matter. We're still overlapping them. Seven, six. Right to the wire. There we go. Fifth. This is the final lap. Can we actually catch up to him again? I don't think we can. But at least we'll do third. Oh no, that is him. He is in third. What? Hey! Sorry, Dex. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Oh my goodness. So freaking nice. And that's all she wrote. I probably would have caught up to this guy if I didn't crash back there. We would have, we would have overlapped all of them There's at least once. I trusted you. Good job. Time is for you. All right, finish first. Forty-three thousand. Thank you. Testing complete. All right, guys, and we are back to $109,000, just like that. This has been the BMW, most wanted BMW M3. One last look at it. It is a masterpiece. It is a work of art. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If there's anything else you'd like me to do in the game, bring a video of it, please. Let me know in the comments, cars, challenges. I don't know. What, what do you guys watch videos of when it comes to speed? Thank you so much. And... uh Catch you on the next one.